Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories and our second game of our 2014-2015 playoff season as we're putting the Blue Valley West Jaguars versus the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. Let's go ahead and meet our competitors first from West. I'm Emre and I'm a junior. I'm Billy and I'm a senior. I'm Chandler and I'm a senior. I'm Curtis and I'm a senior. I'm Abby and I'm a senior. And our competitors from Northwest. I'm Dan, I'm a senior. I'm Alec, I'm a senior. I'm Abik, I'm also a senior. I'm Ben, I'm a freshman. I'm Evan, I'm a senior. Here on Categories, in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. And we did not do a coin toss before we started taping, so we're doing this one live. So Chandler, I want you to call it in the air. Tails. It's tails. It is tails. So Wes, you're going to get the first question. If they respond correctly, they will earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. So here we go, Jaguars, with science anatomy is the category. What is the common name for the union between the upper limb and the trunk of the body in humans? Let me start over with that one. That gives chunky. What is the common name of the union between the upper limb and the trunk in humans? Billy. A shoulder. A shoulder. Yeah. It was that common. Yeah. Huskies, going back to you with literature. Alfred Lord Tennyson wrote Crossing the Bar. What does the bar signify? Ben. Entering a courtroom. That is incorrect. Jaguars, you have a chance to steal this literature question. Alfred Lord Tennyson wrote Crossing the Bar. What does the bar signify? Chandler. The standard. It's not the standard. It's death. The bar is death. <laughs> Put a pall on the game real quick, didn't I? Sorry about that. All right, Jaguars, we are coming back to you with current events. Millions of people around the world welcomed in the Chinese New Year. This year is being celebrated as the year of the what? Emre. The sheep. The year of the sheep. Huskies coming back to you with film. Identify the Tennessee Williams role immortalized by Marlon Brando. Dan. Don Corleone. It is not Don Corleone. Jaguars, chance to steal this film category. Identify the Tennessee Williams role immortalized by Marlon Brando. Stanley Kowalski, Stanley Kowalski. Jaguars, we are coming back to you with math geometry. In geometry, rays that have the same endpoint in which form a line are called what? Huskies, chance to steal this math geometry question. In geometry, rays that have the same endpoint in which form a line are called what? Alec. Collinear. Cannot accept collinear. They're called opposite rays. Opposite rays. Huskies, we are coming back to you with games. Name all six pieces used in the game of chess. Abik. The rook, the knight, the bishop, the king, the queen, and the pawn. Those are the six. Thank you. West, coming back to you with government terminology. Give the phrase for any small tropical country in the Western Hemisphere whose economies are largely dependent on foreign capital. Huskies, chance to steal this government terminology question. Give the phrase for any small tropical country in the Western Hemisphere whose economies are largely dependent on foreign capital. Evan? Banana Republic. Banana Republic, very good. <laughs> All right, you guys got to make sure that you're not communicating at all, even through sign language, okay? All right, coming back to you, Huskies, with vocabulary. A swimming suit style named for a Pacific Atoll. Dan. 
Dan. Bikini. It is bikini. U.S. history for you, Jaguars. In 1927, the Supreme Court upheld a Kansas court ruling that barred this organization from the state as an unauthorized foreign corporation. It is the most well-known hate group against all but white Christian Anglo-Saxon males. Curtis. The Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan. Coming back to you, Northwest, general knowledge. Molasses comes from what plant? Dan. Sorghum. The we sorghum. Sorg yeah, we can yeah. accept sorghum. Very good. The other would be sugar cane. Jaguars, geography is your category. What republic was known as the breadbasket of the USSR? Curtis. Ukraine. Ukraine. Huskies, current events is your category. Name the retail giant that recently announced it's raising its minimum wage. Dan. Walmart. Walmart. Back to you, Jaguars. Word origin. Originally coined as a synonym for barbaric, it now refers to the delicate and beautiful artistic style of the Middle Ages. What is it? Curtis. Gothic. It is Gothic. Huskies, U.S. history. The Mormon Trail, Oregon Trail, and Pony Express all crossed which Midwestern state? Dan. Kansas. Cannot accept Kansas. West, you have a chance to steal. The Mormon Trail, Oregon Trail, and Pony Express all crossed which Midwestern state? Billy. Missouri. It's not Missouri, it's Nebraska. Nebraska. West, we are coming back to you now with world history. The official calendar of the French Revolution divided the year into 12 months of 30 days each. That left five remaining days in each year. What was the purpose of those five days? Huskies, chance to steal this world history question. The official calendar of the French Revolution divided the year into 12 months of 30 days each. That left five remaining days in each year. What was the purpose of those five days? They were feast, feast days, feast days. You just had a glorious revolution, might as well have a feast. Huskies, you have the next category, it is science. What name is given to a wave whose nodes are stationary? A beak. A standing wave. It is a standing wave. Coming back to you, West, mythology. What character in Greek mythology was punished by being forced to spend all eternity pushing a huge stone? Emre. Sisyphus. Sisyphus, very good. Northwest, coming back to you, general knowledge. Wild blue yonder is the hymn of which branch of the armed forces? Dan. The Air Force. It is the Air Force. Jaguars, geography, famous places. What famous mount in South Dakota was named as a joke for a New York attorney who was passing through the area? Am right? Mount Rushmore. It is Rushmore, very good. Northwest, math is your category. What would be the volume of a cube which has a total surface area of 24 square inches. Time on that. Jaguars, chance to steal this math category. What would be the volume of a cube which has total surface area? Billy. Eight. Eight. Very good. We are coming back to you, West, with art, specifically museums. You'll find two major art museums, the Fog, and the Sackler at what Ivy League university? Avi? Yale University. It is not Yale. Huskies, chance to steal this art museum's category. You'll find two major art museums, the Fog and the Sackler, at what Ivy League university? Dan? Harvard. It is Harvard. Coming back to you, Huskies, with music, this time composers, starts off with a quote. What a humiliation when one stood beside me and heard a flute in the distance and I heard nothing. And again, someone heard a shepherd singing and I again heard nothing. What musician said it? Dan? Beethoven. Beethoven. Jaguars coming back to you with history inventors. Who invented the passenger elevator? 
Chandler. Otis. Otis, very good. It's on all the elevators. <laughs> Huskies, you have the next category. It is vocabulary word origin. The Latin root for hand spawned this English word meaning reference book. Ben. Manual. Manual, very good. West, coming back to you, fine arts ballet. Which of the Igor Stravinsky's ballets is based on an old Russian legend about a bird which trades a feather to Ivan Zarnovich in return for its freedom? Billy. The Firebird Suite. The Firebird Suite, very good. Huskies, fine arts theater. In Greek drama, these titles designated the first, second, and third actor. The second and third were called deuteragonists and tritonagonists, respectively. What is the name of the first actor? Alec. Protagonist. Protagonist, very good. Jaguars, you have science as your category. How many electrons are found in the P sublevel? Chandler. Six. Six, very good. Coming back to you, Northwest, another science question, this more specifically, textbooks. Asa Gray, known for his books on, were known for his books on botany. Henry Gray, however, was known for his books in what science? Dan. Anatomy. Anatomy. West, literature is your category. Among her works are her books, It's Up to Women, This Is My Story, and On My Own. She also wrote a newspaper column called My Day. She was the wife of one of our presidents. Who was she? Curtis. Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt, very good. Northwest coming back to you with general knowledge. What does the following mnemonic device help you remember? Here's the mnemonic device. Mary's violet eyes made John stay up nights. Evan. The planets in the solar system. Planets in the solar system. This used, used to be up on up nights pacing, but no longer pacing. Poor Pluto. All right, Jaguars, coming back to you. Labor history is the category. In 1877, the first major strike in the United States occurred. In what industry did this strike take place? Curtis. The steel industry? It is not the steel industry. Northwest, chance to steal this labor history question. In 1877, the first major strike in the United States occurred. In what industry did this strike take place? Alec. Rail industry. It is the rail industry. Very good. Huskies, coming back to you with world history this time. Which event came first? Japan invades Manchuria. Franco becomes dictator of Spain. Or Hitler named the Chancellor of Germany. Abik? Japan invades Manchuria. That is correct. That is the correct order. And with that siren, that does denote the end of our first round with the score Blue Valley Northwest 15, Blue Valley West 12. At this part of our program, we're going to present our regular season trophies to our second and third place winners. And our third place finishers for the regular season is the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. And I have with a record of three and one with 55% of their questions answered correctly throughout the year. Nice job, gentlemen. Dan, I'm going to hand you the rest of these because I know you have other competitors that aren't here today. All right. And I also am presenting you with this third place regular season trophy. Thank you. My pleasure. And our second place finishers for the year is the Blue Valley West Jaguars with a 4-0 record and 58% of their questions answered correctly. So I have medals for you as well. There we go. I didn't want to. Nice job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice job. Thanks. And Billy, I'm going to hand you these elements because I also know you have some competitors who are not here today. And I also am presenting you with this uh, regular season second place trophy for the year. Nice Thank job. You.
And as you can see by our graphic, the regular season uh, standings also determined our seating for our postseason tournament. The winner of today will advance to take on Blue Valley, and the loser will play in our consolation game against Shawnee Mission West. All right, it looks like we're ready to go for our second round, which is the lightning round. As tradition here on Categories, the lightning round starts with our look and listen question. We have a look and listen question is worth two points and a reminder to the contestants who will be able to see our clue here on a monitor in the studio that we cannot rewind the tape or the video. Tape kind of dates me on that one. We can't rewind the video. Uh, we have to stop it from where the person rings in and you may ring in at any time I am finished with the question. So here we go. Hands on buzzers. Where will you end up after entering this structure? Dan. The Louvre. It is the Louvre. You are correct. Two points to Blue Valley Northwest. The remainder of our lightning round, questions will be placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team still gets a chance to steal. So here we go. The first category of the lightning round is geometry vocabulary. If it were given the same name, but in Spanish language, what state capital might be called Cologne? Emory. Columbus. Columbus. Geography, another geography question, this time world geography. Name the only nation which has coastlines on both the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Abik. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Sports for both teams. Regarded as the greatest center fielder, two of his brothers were also major leaguers. Name the slugger who hit safely in 56 consecutive games. Abik. Joe DiMaggio. It is Joe DiMaggio. Fine art, painters for both teams. He was privately as combative as Muhammad Ali was publicly. He even signed his name in the form of a butterfly with the sting of a bee. Who was this 19th and 20th century American born painter whose masterpiece hangs in the Louvre? Dan? Whistler. It is Whistler. Poetry for both teams. What is the title of the poem by Milton opening with the awakening of the rebel angels in hell after their fall from heaven? Chandler. Paradise Lost. It is Paradise Lost. Literature for both teams. From the description, name the following character from James Fenimore Cooper's masterpiece, The Last of the Mohicans. He was the lo loyal Mohawk chief and Hawkeye's inseparable friend. Chingachgook. Chingachgook. Vocabulary for both teams. Originally sewn on a knight's surcoat, what is this heraldic design called? Dan? Coat of arms. It is a coat of arms. World history. What was, what was built by the French at a cost of $500 billion after World War I? Curtis. The Maginot Line. The Maginot Line. Economics for both teams. A market structure characterized by a single firm supplying all the market's output. Alec? Monopoly. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Jaguars, you have the chance to steal this economics question. A market structure characterized by a single firm supplying all the market's output is called a monopoly. A market structure characterized by small, a small number of relatively large firms who supply most of the market's output is called what? Emory. Oligopoly. Oligopoly, yep. Both teams, general knowledge. In what decade did bobbed hair for women first become popular? Ben. The 1950s. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Jaguars, chance to steal this general knowledge question. In what decade? Billy. The 20s. It is the 20s. Right now, Blue Valley Northwest has a slight lead of 21 to West 17. Geography is the next category. What colorful body of water is the largest arm of Lake Michigan? Alec. Green Bay. Green Bay. Current events for both teams. The eastern United States continues to suffer from extreme cold, snow, and ice. 
Not to be confused with last year's polar vortex, this blast has been attributed to Arctic air from the so-called what? Alec? La Nina. Uh, no, that's incorrect. Jaguars, chance to steal this current events question. The eastern U U.S. continues to suffer from extreme cold, snow, and ice. Not to be confused with last year's polar vortex, this blast has been attributed to Arctic air from the so-called what? Siberian Express. Science terminology for both teams. What two-word phrase refers to the number of seconds it takes a message to reach the brain and be acted upon? Alec. Reaction time. Reaction time. Very good. Literature. Shakespeare. Viola and Sebastian are shipwrecked upon the coast of Il Ilria in what play by Shakespeare? Dan. The Tempest. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Jaguars, chance to steal the Shakespeare, the Shakespeare category. Viola and Sebastian are shipwrecked upon the coast of Ilria. Am I getting that right? Illyria, thank you. In what play by Shakespeare? Chandler. A Midsummer Night's Dream. I'm sorry, it's Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night. U.S. geography for both teams. What state lies directly north of Arkansas? A beak. Missouri. Missouri. Music terminology. A group of lines of verse usually set off from other groups by a space is called what? Alec. Chorus. Cannot accept chorus. Jaguars, chance to steal this music terminology question. A group of lines of verse usually set apart from other groups by a space is called what? Avi. Stanza. A stanza. Science, botany. A coarse grass. Gigitaria sanguinalis, what spreads rapidly and spoils lawn, is commonly called what? Alec. Dandelion. It is not dandelions. Jaguars, chance to steal this botany question. A coarse grass, Digitaria sang... Chandler. Crabgrass. It is crabgrass. Famous places for both teams. The most famous castle in the United States is located between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Newspaper magnate William Randolph Hearst built it. Name it. Curtis. Alcatraz. It's not Alcatraz. Huskies, chance to steal this famous places. The most famous castle in the United States is located between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Newspaper magnate William Randolph Hearst built it. Name it. San Simeon, San Simeon. General knowledge for both teams. What follows the sequence? Quarter less three, half twain, quarter twain. Eighth twain? It's not eighth twain, sorry. <laughs> Huskies, chance to steal this general knowledge category. What follows this sequence? Quarter less three, half twain, quarter twain. Dan? Mark Twain. Mark Twain. <laughs> He's right. It is. It is Mark Twain. U.S. history for both teams. James Oglethorpe charted the colony of Georgia as a haven for those who had been jailed for what white-collar crime? Curtis. Having debt. Having debt is correct. Word origin is the next category. What name, or excuse me, the name for what continent comes from the Semitic meaning land of sunrise? Dan. Asia. It is Asia. Science, amphibians is the category. Identify these amphibians. They're small, tailed, timid, harmless amphibians that look like lizards. Emre. Salamanders. It is salamanders. <laughs> Mythology for both teams. With which nymph did Odysseus spend most of his 20 year sojourn? Emre. Calypso. Calypso is correct. Math for both teams. Give the combined number of years in a decade, century, and millennium. Abik. Uh, 1,110 years. That is correct. U.S. presidents for both teams. In what year did Richard Nixon resign? Curtis. 1974. 1974 is correct. Chemistry for both teams. 
Is fixed nitrogen important in our survival because it's used in manufacturing of steel, used as a fertilizer? Chandler. Used as a fertilizer. Used as a fertilizer. You've narrowed the gap here a little bit, 27 to 24. How do you spell platitudinous? A beak. P-L-A-T-I-T-U-D E-N-E-S-S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Jack Rush, chance to steal. Chandler. P-L-A-T-I-T-U-D-I-N-O-U-S. That is correct. Science, astronomy for both teams. In the 1985-86 sightings of Halley's Comet were less spectacular than the last time, and not because of smog and city lights. Why? Chandler. Uh, it's drifting away. We'll accept that, yes. <laughs> all right, literature for both teams, multiple choice. In Conrad's novel, Lord Jim spent nearly all of his life trying to find his real name, defend his theory of navigation, atone for one act of cowardice, discover a pirate's gold, or become master of a ship. Chandler. Atone for an act of cowardice. Atone for an act of cowardice is correct, and you've tied up the score at 27 apiece. Military history. From which country to which intended country was the Zimmerman telegram sent? Emran. Germany to Mexico. Germany to Mexico is correct. General knowledge. What part of a sewing machine holds the fabric down on the feed plate? Ben. The hammer. It is not the hammer. Jaguar's chance to steal. What part of the sewing machine holds the fabric down on the feed plate? Billy. The restrainer. It's not the restrainer, it's the presser foot. Economics for both teams, it's multiple choice. A major way the United States pays for its large imports of raw materials and manufactured goods is by exports of farm products, automobiles, coal and oil, wonder drugs, iron and steel. Chandler. Farm products. It is farm products. World geography for both teams. Name two of the four countries that border South Africa to the north. Abik. Botswana and Mozambique. Mozambique, yep. Zimbabwe and Nambia were the other two. Medicine. What do we call the inflammatory or decom decomposition of a body part due to extreme? Chandler. Atrophy. It is not atrophy. Husky's chance to steal. What do we call the inflammation or decomposition of a body part due to the extreme cold? Alec. Frostbite. It is frostbite. And with that correct response, we have tied up the score <laughs> at 29 apiece. So we're going into overtime. We have five questions. Whatever team finishes best out of those five is the winner. If we do not have, if we have a tie at the end of those five questions, it then becomes sudden victory. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. Ancient history is the category. The lamp of the world is extinguished, and it is the whole world which has perished in the ruins of this one city. St. Jerome was referring to what ancient city? Curtis. Alexandria. It is not Alexandria. Huskies, chance to steal this ancient history category. The lamp of the world is extinguished. Alec. Rome. It is Rome. Cinema is the next category. In which Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn's movies did they portray a wealthy couple whose daughter marries an African-American doctor portrayed by Sidney Poitier? Alec. Guess who's coming to dinner? It is guess who's coming to dinner. Math is the next category. Change the decimal 45 hundredths to a fraction and reduce to lowest a beak. 9 twentieths? It is 9 twentieths. And with that correct response, you have three out of the five, and you are the winners advancing to the championship round. An excellent final uh, round here in our 
second playoff game of the season. Blue Valley Northwest, you will be advancing to take on Blue Valley in two weeks. And Blue Valley West, you will take on Shawnee Mission West in our consolation game carrying next week. Congratulations to both teams and thank you for joining us as we continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all across Johnson County.